man, what a good way to start this series, man. We are fighting T4H Zeus. That is 100% Zeus. As you guys can see right there, there is Zeus on his profile. There's lightning, there's, there's thunder. It's a very unique, very unique uh, profile the man has. So, um, I've fought the man before. He's extremely tough to beat and... I feel like it's a it's a fitting way to start this series. The hairiest fighters in every single weight class. Who would have thought I would actually do this? You know, when when you guys first asked for this series, it was like a it was like a, a a clear joke, right? But then it slowly morphed into something that is quite interesting and let's do it. The first fighter he bows. All right, the first fighter in the heavyweight division. Well, this is not the first one I've played, but you know, we gotta start from heavyweight is uh, Ben Rothwell. And yeah, it's only a matter of time before Zeus starts to grapple. For now, I think he's probably just trying to, I don't know, give me a striking, a striking look, but make no mistake about it. I do not expect this man to strike with me. I mean, that would be a mistake, to be honest. His advantage is in the grappling department. He's quite dominant in that. So, I'm uh, I'm a little bit ready to grapple. Let's just let's see what happens. Whiffed. There it is. He's gonna walk me to the cage. Take my back. Yep. Uh huh. Let's see what we can do here. It's all good practice when you fight like someone like this. It's it's very good practice. I always try to take every opportunity I can to I'm on my back on my feet here we should be okay here nope he was no there it is rocked take the back again we should be fine here nope scramble out right there but he always tries to take the back right there and do a few things you can do to stop it a lot of times, you know, it's it's almost like you got it. Oh my god. That should be a scramble. Yes, it is. No. One thing I'm trying not to do is I don't want I don't want the the the, the threat of the takedown to make my striking less dangerous I mean, that's what usually yeah he's got now he's gonna circle me <laughs> he does this all the time i'm okay here yeah i don't think he's gonna submit me right here but look at look at the way he see dude, like it's like it's like his his bar teleports from one direction to the other to the other i don't know what the, i don't know what the man is doing i really don't know what he's doing with these submissions and with the grappling but there's something quite interesting with the way the man grapples no side control here i'm not gonna shy away from me Okay, good first round. My guess is he won that first round. I would say he did. He was able to get two rocks in the clinch right there. There's, yeah, he rocked me in the clinch. And he was also able to, I think he, he, he might have got just one takedown right there. And the rest of them were scrambles. But um, he's got John Jones, man. And there are a lot of different ways to get, get takedowns. So let's just, let's keep, let's keep it going. If you guys don't know, this is the number one ranked player in uh, on the Xbox right now, T4H Zeus. He's good. He's pretty good at what he does. No, deny that one. There's a shot. Take the back. There we go. I mean, this deny right here is is ridiculous. That's that was crazy. You see how fast that was? 
his denies, all of his denies are like pre-denies, like every single last one of them. And he clearly does not pre-deny because nobody is that good at guessing. But every single one of his denies is like a pre-deny. It's pretty, um, it's pretty incredible. Let's see if we can, if we can get out of here. No. Look at that. Look at that. No. Let's try it again. Look at that. How many people have you seen do that? Alright. Let's go the other direction and see what happens. No. My ground and pound defense has gotten a lot better. Alright. I'm okay. Denies it. No. He's trying to get me in side saddle, which I don't want him to do. Because from side saddle, he's going to be able to get a side saddle, side saddle on bar, and I don't want to lose like that. I really don't. Denies that. Impressive. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Alright, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to haunt. Oh yeah, he's landing very accurately. And he's, he's up. To get damage on. Here we go. Doing pretty good with the ground and pound defense. We've not really taken too much def too much damage on the ground here. Alright, so I've got GA. Yeah, look at how slow that is, man. That's crazy. He's probably going to try to posture up there. There's the damage. Just, just relax, relax, relax. No. Okay. Got that one. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Seconds winding down in round two. Well, he is ground and loose. Okay. Yeah, round number two is his as well. Round number two is his his as well. He's he's pretty much dominating this fight at this point. I think the only the only way I can get him is if I stop him. I gotta be I gotta rock him on the feet and uh, figure out a way to to put him away. But yeah, man, I, I I do take every opportunity. Like anytime I run into this dude, it's like I know at this point a lot of people duck him just because he's not very pleasant to fight. But it's like. You gotta take opportunities like this and try to improve your game. Like fighting someone that's doing this is is only gonna help out your game. It really will. No. And so I mean, he rocks me again. His 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 gamer thingy is very recognizable. Like you know, you see it right away. You oh, there we go. Didn't even get a drop right there. Faking it. Nice. Can I get up here? Probably not. There we go. Denies it. It's like fighting the AI with their. Look at this. That's ridiculous. I mean, these denies are, are ridiculous. They make no sense. They're very good. Okay, now what he's doing right here, he's going to constantly go from backside to backside and he'll keep doing it over and over again. He stops my... Yeah, he's going to keep doing this repeatedly because this prevents the referee from standing, from standing us up. So, we'll just get him to full guard. I'm surprised he didn't deny that one. Now, I'm gonna get back up. The king of Kenosha gets up. Clearly, he wanted this fight back to its feet, despite having a dominant position on the ground. Again, fantastic team. Back on the ground, and he's gonna get me to backside. Here we go. And from backside, he's gonna go to back sitting. Don't nope, denies that. Uh huh. He'll keep doing that over and over and over again. This way, he can spend. 
the whole entire round on the ground. There we go. I'm trying to deny that, but for some reason, I'm not I'm not able to. Maybe I'm denying it wrong. Final minute of this championship fight. Okay. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get on my back. Choke. This is a dangerous choke right here. Can we survive it? Probably not. He's got me right here. Yeah, it's over. Good job, buddy. Yep, that was a good performance. He got me. He got me. Um, I really, I don't want, I don't want Ben Rothwell to go to go down like this. So we're gonna try to get a second one. We're trying to get another fight in the heavyweight division using Ben Rothwell and see if we can, if we, if we can get some redemption. Cause, I mean, uh, I'm going to upload my losses, you know. But um, that is if you're not a cunt. You know, but um, I I, uh, I do still want to be able to get a win with these fighters. So we're gonna we're gonna play it again. We're gonna replay it and see if we can get a win with Big Ben Rothwell. But good job, good job, T4H Zeus. That dude is tough to beat. He's very very tough to beat. All right, let's move on. All right, we are facing another grappler. I, I, I am, I am very familiar with this guy. But the thing with him is, you know, I mean, he's, he's nowhere near the the grappler that Zeus is, and so I, we're just gonna stuff his takedowns and just take him out. He's going to shoot very predictable takedowns. I mean, every right away. Yeah, it's. He's going to shoot very predictable takedowns. All of it will be very predictable. Right here, no. Scramble out. He's going to shoot and drive, most likely. No. And if he gets you in the single collar, he tries to... He's going to throw, like, two strikes and then try to trip you. So you just pay attention. To, there it is. No. Sit him down right there. To the body. Nope. Scrambled out. Keep in mind for these scrambles, man, you can just tap you can just tap um L2. Like you don't have to hold it. Overhands, see if we can just like that. There we go. He's about to shoot right here. Of course you want to force the shots. That's the that's the best way to deal with to deal with these. It also keeps you away. Nice. No. It also keeps your back against away from the cage. I mean, the last thing you want is like your back against the cage where you are. You then have to deal with the no. Where you then have to deal with the 50-50. Uh, because if they get to you with your back against the cage, they'll take your back, and then from there you have a 50-50 shot of guessing what they're going to freaking do. They can either jump on your back and get the backpack. It's over. This is a critical rock right here. Yeah, got him. That's how our fights usually go. Anytime I fight this dude, that's usually what happens. You know, he shoots a bunch of very just weird, predictable takedowns. You deny all of them, and then you just take them out. I think it will do him, you know, it will help if he, uh, if he learned to strike a little bit. Then again, I'm pretty sure, like, when he's fighting a lot of different people, like a lot of different players, one of those takedowns would have stuck. It's just, you know, more experienced players are able to deny all of those takedowns. You need to be doing something a little bit more tricky to get the fight to the ground. You really do, especially in this game. All right, so heavyweight is done. Next up is light heavyweight, which is we've already played, but let's get it. Light heavy weight. See, we're facing Vandalay Silva. Knowing how ridiculous Vandalay Silva is on the feet, 
we're just gonna take this fight to the ground. I don't want to deal with that at all. Thank you. And it's lagging too. Yeah, we're, we're not we're not dealing with the crazy crazy hooks of Vandalay Silva. So on your back, buddy. We're just gonna take this man down and just try to get him out of here quick. Uh uh. Oh, nice. Back mount. Nice. Side control. A lot of movement here. No. Crucifix, baby. Don't get stuck here. Now you're stuck. Oh, now you're really... Now you're stuck, stuck. I think it's possible he was trying to bump. He was probably trying to... Try to hit a bump and then go the other direction, but... Man, he screwed it up, dude. He's he's really screwed right here. He's fucked. That does it. Alright. See how quickly you can get him out of there with that? It's... Whew, man. It is imperative, man, that you don't let people get crucifix on you, dude. It's... It's one of those things, you know, you just... You gotta... You gotta camp on that deny. Then again, you know, a player can just power transition into crucifix and... And if they do that, just keep in mind that their stamina will be very low. You're going to want to move quick. It's a desperate position. You got to move fast. I'm going to get one more fight. That one wasn't, uh, wasn't very good. Be right back. Dominic Reyes. Apparently, I've already fought this man before. He's using Dominic Reyes. I'm not going to grapple him. We're just going to... Last one was a grappling match because I really didn't want to deal with the striking of Vandalay Silva. It's a, it's ridiculous. It really is. But um, I can deal with this guy on the feet. So even with Forrest Griffin, we'll we'll try. This dude thinks I'm a punching bag. He really he really does think I'm a punching bag because I'm using Forrest Griffin. You don't don't just. Be careful with that, buddy. Okay. Okay, I see what he's doing. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. There we go. On his back. There we go. When someone's pressuring you, you cannot let that happen. You gotta offer... There we go. This is over. This should be it. Yeah. Done. I feel like the biggest mistake players make in this game is they forget that a good offense is the best defense. You know, the best defense is a good offense. If someone is pushing you back over and over again and all you're doing is you're turtling or you're trying to move your head or you're trying to play this, like, super defensive game that's not ufc 4 man i mean regardless of how much you try to force it to be ufc 4 it's not ufc 4 you're going to need to offer back something you gotta you you, you, you gotta throw strikes you gotta throw combos you gotta get them off you regardless of who you're using what character you're using or else you're just gonna get shredded so just just keep that in mind but um let's move on so a massive TKO win for him here tonight. He put it all together. Near perfect execution. We get to this UFC middleweight division fight. We are in the middleweight division right now. And of course, the hairiest fighter here is Dan Henderson. By the way, major thanks to Zayaf, who knows everything there is to know about this game for the record. Like, thank you. You have any question about this game? Ask, ask Zayaf. He knows everything there is to know about this game. Like, I've learned more about this game from Zayaf than probably anybody else. Maybe except Romero, but... Anyways, he made the list of all the hairiest fighters in every weight class for me. And I take his word on pretty much everything UFC 4 related. So, I'm going to go by his list right here. No... That's, uh, that's ill-advised. Come here, buddy. On your back. No. You want to grapple, buddy. No. No, sir. Where does he go now from the top position? 
Mban, check and check and can cog up, but can cog up when you do can general side control. Mban, I want to be an edge. Yeah, keep you right here, buddy. There's crucifix. No. He might be stuck. He might be stuck. Yep, he's stuck. This is probably what he wanted to do to me. Rule of rule of thumb, man. Unless you're, I don't know. Unless you're him, the dream or specific grappling players, man. It's always better to be on top than on the bottom. Just also a rule of life. Always better to be on top than the bottom. Half guard. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Nope. Nope. Oh, you're gassed. You are gassed out, buddy. You're going to need to do something, homeboy. He's fine. Let's posture up. Let's see if we can get him out of here. Ooh! Yes. I did it. There you go. Hendo. That's like vintage Dan Henderson when Dan Henderson used to. Do you guys remember when Dan Henderson used to wrestle? Remember that? Before he started throwing hands. You remember when Dan Henderson used to actually wrestle? It's crazy, man. The man used to wrestle. Anyways. That's done. We are going to move on. Be right back. Okay, so in the welterweight division, um, the hairiest fighter is uh, Michael Chiesa. Michael Chiesa. And in the lightweight division, of course, it is Clay Guida. So, I'm going to see if I can... I'm gonna see if I if the first because I really don't want this to be a long like a long series, so I'm gonna see if I can do because right now I haven't played heavyweight, light heavy, or middleweight. So what I'm gonna to try to do is see if if I can do heavyweight through welterweight for the first episode, and then uh, three episodes at most at most. So this will actually end up being the last fight, even though this is one of the first ones I'm playing. Body. Yo, Masvidal. This this Masvidal is uh. Hold on. I don't know if I should stay in Southpaw or if I should go conventional here. But we'll see. See, like my shots are not really doing any damage for some reason. Whatever, Masvidal is not the best boxer in the roster. He's not. I mean, he's one of the better ones, but he's not the best boxer in the roster. That title still goes to Conor McGregor, in my opinion. You can feel free to disagree. What the hell? Give me a rock. He's made... Look, see, this is this is where I start to get a little bit annoyed. Because, like, I've countered this, this dude's pressure quite a few times right now, and I'm not getting a single rock. Like, is Michael Chiesa really this weak? I might need to take this fight to the ground if he's going to be able to just muscle through everything that I, every single one of my counters. I mean, I got to be careful with that. Look at this. Yeah, 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 bro. You're you're getting grappled, man. I got I got to be smart about this, bro. Sorry, dude, but I mean, I gotta, gotta play this one smart. Like, come on now. No. He's waiting for me. Side control. Nope, he denies it. 
These are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control. You know what, man? You guys have been asking for this series for such a long time. You better destroy the like button on this one. You better destroy that like button because Matthew 7-7, seven, seven, people. Ask and you shall receive. I might not give it to you the moment you ask it, but I eventually will. I always do. Okay, you have submissions. Take the fight to the ground. Thanks for the reminder. That's actually a very good reminder. I'm going to see if I can submit him in the second round. It will be, look at this shot. Boom, beautiful right hook to sit Michael Chiesa down. Yeah, we'll, uh, I'm going to see if I can sub him. It'll be difficult, but... We'll try. The body. Yeah, man, every single shot I'm landing right now just feels so weak. Like, so weak, man. Oh, my God. I gotta take this fight to the ground. Okay. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jujitsu gym around the country. Working out of the half guard here. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through. I'm gonna see if I can find an opportunity to to lock in a submission here. Posture up, nothing there. Can I go? No. A lot of times I posture up to see if I can, if I have the free transition. Like right here, I don't have it. You need GA. No. Posture, 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 posture. Still don't have it. Yeah, got a fake. Got a fake. You know, I wonder, I seriously wonder what UFC 4 grappling would look and feel like without grapple advantage. Like if, if grapple advantage was just turned off completely, like what would the grappling feel like? He won't let me get him. Hmm. I gotta be able to get at least one rock on the feet, like for real. The striking is not so good that I can't get a single rock on the feet. Yes. That was perfect. That was perfect. Oh. Oh, he's trying to go for the jab straight head kick. Got him. There we go. There we go. That's my round. Two drops. Right? The first, I think the first one was, was uh, the first one might have been just a rock and not a drop. But that was definitely a, like a clean, clean flash drop right there. Caught him with the uppercut. Beautiful vulnerability. Side him down. I think we're gonna stick with. Uh, we're gonna stick with. Sorry, my sorry, my man. I meant to touch. I meant to touch gloves, but we're gonna stick with conventional right here. Unless I want to land body body kicks, like roundhouse to the body. I think I earned his respect. <laughs> I think that's what happened right there because he didn't want to touch my gloves in round number one, but come round number three. He wanted to touch, so I might have earned his respect. Oh my god. 
Sorry, bro. Sorry, but I gotta be smart about this. And really starting to make these shots count. He's okay. No, got him. <laughs> got him. Oh my god, I thought he was out of it. Mm, but nothing's gonna happen though. Oh, no, he's fine. He's okay. By the way, um, that submission that I went for right there is the same exact input as UFC 3. When you have an... No. When you have an opponent in sprawl bottom and they go to get a... Oh, we got GA. We got GA. Slow is molasses. What the freak? I'm okay. I'm okay. When they got when they go to get up, all you gotta do is you hold uh R2, L2, and flick up on your right stick. And you're going to get them, you're gonna do like a it's gonna be a guillotine counter, arm and guillotine counter right there. No. My ground and pound defense has really, really improved. That's just because you know, that's just from playing on the Xbox and finding myself on the bottom so many times that it it just, there's no, I have no choice but to improve it, so. Playing on the PS4, man. No, sir. I rarely found myself, no, rarely found myself grappling or on the bottom that I never... I think, I think he's okay. I think he's fine. He's rocking the boat very well. That's very good defense right there. Good, good defense. There we go. We are trying to sub him, but uh, look for a takedown. Your opponent can't stop your takedowns. Let's get another one in this round. I mean, that's what I've been doing. That's literally what I've been doing. The problem I have right now is it's possible he might have done enough damage to steal that round even though he was he was mostly being grappled so we're just we gotta be careful man oh my god get out of there please get out of there there we go there we go i'm also trying to be like just cleaner would exit in the cage with a lunge and not like do panic lunges like because sometimes man when you're rocked and your back is literally against the cage and your opponent is might as well just just tee off on him or we'll posture up and just posture up again and just tee off on him so i control don't worry i'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna look for a sub here, cause they are busted. Tee off. Nothing. I wonder what Kiesa's ground and pound stats are. But what I was saying, when you have your back against the cage and you have an opponent in front of you like throwing a barrage of strikes, especially when you're hurt, a lot of times you panic and you start lunging all over the place and that can really get you in trouble. So it's it's good to stay... Wow, look at the GA. That has to be busted. Wait, what? Oh my God. He's, up, he's done. Get up, buddy. Did you guys see the GA? My GA just stayed completely full, right? <laughs> you fucking guy. I can't believe. Got him. 
Sit him down. I'll take it. Oh, no. You don't want that. He's fishing for the slip cross right now. Nope. Sit him down. This should be it. He won't survive this one. There's just no way. There we go. Yep. And I'm going to call it a... I'm going to call this episode one right here. Call this one episode uno. Okay. Assuming we've been successful with heavyweight, light heavyweight, middleweight, and welterweight. Well, this is welterweight. You, you get my point. Assuming we've been successful, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do not forget to leave a like, leave a comment. Helps out the algorithm, helps out the channel. And uh, just for sure, if you, if you guys are really enjoying it, just don't forget to show that with a like. Um, this series so far is fun. It really, really is. And I'll see you guys uh, with episode 2 shortly. Episode 2 is going to start in the lightweight division, lightweight, featherweight. Um, then we're going to go bantamweight and then flyweight. And uh, I don't know if I'll do the, the women's. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. But that's it. Thanks for watching, folks. Love you guys. And I'll see you very soon. Peace out.